Hi, my name is Matt Duffy. I'm the Executive Director for the DeKalb Chamber of Commerce, and I'm here today with Jock Samis. Jock's one of our board members and also with the Illinois Small Business Development Center at Wabonzi Community College in partnership with Kishwaukee College. And he's here today to talk to us a little bit about a back to business grant that's going on. And uh, Jock, tell us a little bit about the back to business grant. I will, Matt. I mean, I am really excited about this and I hope that you are all are too. This back to business, um, the, the state is really trying to uh, get businesses back to where they were. And this is a grant program, which means this money does not have to be repaid. Now, you can get anywhere from $5,000 to $150,000 in this program. Uh, the criterion, you have to have less revenue in 2020 than you did in 2019, pretty simple. And the business has to have less than $5 million in revenue. Again, pretty simple for a small business. How much do you get? Well, you're gonna get two months worth of revenue, the difference between the 2019 and the 2020. Now, the program started on August 16th, and already, and this is the best part, already applications are being reviewed. There is no stalling, there is no foibles, there's no issues with the website or whatever, and the awards, they tell me, are going to come out within two weeks. The applications are going to be open until October 13th or until the program runs out of money, but there are a lot of opportunities. Now, obviously, when you're talking to small business owners, they're wanting to know who should really apply because they have limited time and resources. So do they have some direction as to who this grant is uh, focused on? Well, you know, Matt, great question. It's focused on everyone. And I want to say this again. It's focused on everyone. If you have a business, apply. <laughs> if you've lost money, which the majority of the people have. Now, there are priorities. For example, there are industries that have been hit. And here are some examples of those that have really been impacted by COVID. And you'll be able to see these on the website. The other big thing is that nonprofits are also eligible. And this is really a great, great thing. The other priority area, so the industry's a priority, also, there are certain impacted areas that are a priority, and DeKalb happens to be one of them. So absolutely, you're going to get a priority. That doesn't mean if you're not in the priority industry or the priority zip, still apply. There's dollars out there for you. And you should also tell everyone you know <laughs> that they should apply. You know, the thing is, what do you need? You need to have your tax returns for 2019 and 2020. And would it be worth it to do your tax return for 2020 to get into this program? Absolutely. The state is rejecting you automatically if you don't have your 2019 and 2020 tax returns done. Now you make it sound like it's a fairly simple process, but where do you find out more information for those that are looking or interested to apply? Yeah, Matt, uh, here is the very confusing URL. Um, I like to keep things simple, so I go to the source of most knowledge, which is Google. And I just put in there, back to business grant, and you can see that there it is. Uh, the, the website that they have is great. It answers a lot of questions. There are frequently asked questions. There are links to different areas. I mean, so this is great. And if you are watching this prior to this Friday, August 27th, you can also register for a virtual workshop that will give you even more details about this. Now, the question always is, if you miss that workshop, what can you do? You can always reach out to me. Uh, I can answer most of the questions, and if I can't, I will find the answers for them. But I'm here in the area to help businesses, as I've always said, start, survive, and thrive. And now the state is helping with that. Absolutely. Well, this is a, it sounds like a great grant program, and we definitely appreciate your assistance on this because I know a lot of small business owners are still uh, looking for some uh, a little kickstart to get things going in the right direction. Um, so definitely, if you can uh, attend on the 27th, uh, if you're watching this prior to, do so. If not, reach out to Jock to get your questions answered, and hopefully we can uh, get a lot of our small businesses to, to get a little bit of this grant dollars to, to help boost our economy. So, uh, Jock, thanks for joining us today for another edition of In the Loop. And uh, thank you all for watching today and have a great day.